and welcome to a brand new series of Oscar Reads, the show where I read stories to you. Yes, brand new series, and it's the third series, series three! I am proud. And we kickstart this new series with one of my favourite childhood stories. It's called My Great Grandpa. My great-grandpa is slow, his eyes are weak and his legs won't go, but he knows things that no one else knows, things he tells me about when we go out. Sometimes we go when gr my gran doesn't know, he calls me his bus driver, I call him my baby. He makes bussy noises and I push his pram, people stare, but we don't care. My great-grandpa knows all about our town, who lived where and when and how, but he can't remember who lives here now, so I have to tell him. He says I'm as smart as a button, but a button isn't much. Our favourite place is his old house at the bend at the end of the lane. We go there again and again and again and again and again. We call it our house. My, my great-grandpa said it was his house, when Gran was like me, his little mouse. But I'm not a mouse. I'm a lion! He says my great-granny had eyes like mine, and they'd shine. Then he sits for a while, and he starts to smile. And I think it's nice, because he loves her. Still. My great-grandpa knows where the berries are, but it's too far. We don't go picking berries, we get them in Ted's shop instead. Great-grandpa says berries are bad for his burps, but he eats so many you'd think he would burst. Almost as many as me. <coughs> my great-grandpa says I'm his special girl, girl, like my gran when he, she was young. And my mum, and then me. He says we are peas from a pod. I say I'm a runner bean. And then he says, let's go to the swings. My great grandpa doesn't swing or do anything. He sits and he nods and he smiles. And he thinks of the things that he knows that no one else knows. He calls himself Crow on the Shelf. He's the nicest old crow that I know, and I tell him so. The sun makes great grandpa hot and grumpy, so we go home, and he goes to bed to rest his old head. And I sit with my gran on the grass in the sun. She says, it's sad to be like great grandpa is now. But I know it's not! For my great-grandpa knows things that no one else knows. In his mind, he goes places that no one else goes. He's got me, he's got Gran and my mum. And we love him a lot. But he shouldn't go out when it's hot. The end. And before we go, I'd like to show you the pictures quickly. I just love the illustrations, the drawings, don't you? I think they're fabulous drawings. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Story. I'll see you again soon for another story. Until then, cheerio!